let's get to it. The reason for creating this video is because I had many unsuccessful attempts and I hope that I can share with you what a successful attempt looks like to save your time. First, we need to find a Ubuntu 16 image. Next, we will create a nested version of the image. We will create a VM. Then we will make sure the VM internet interface is ETH0 and not ENS4 or ENS33. This is to make sure that when we start the EVE installation, EVE will not complain that it cannot find the ETH0 interface. Next, we will proceed to install EVE. And if we are successful, we will be greeted with the EVE login prompt in the web browser. So if we fail, we will fail the reboot. Let's start quickly. So this is to find the name of the Ubuntu image. Click on activate cloud. This is to authorize the cloud shell to run commands. Notice we created under this if one project. So this is the if one project, the project ID. Take note, the image that we created will be under the project. So later, if you need to find the image, you will need to point to the correct project. Okay, we have the project name. And then we have the image name. Yes, the image name and the project name. I have the command here, G Cloud Compute Images Create. This is the name of the image we're gonna create. This is the image that we are using. And this is the project name. This will be the license. It means that the image we are creating will be nested. Okay, with this, you are free to browse for any other versions of Ubuntu. So far, I'm having success with 16.04, so try to stick to that. Copy out this command, Control V to paste it in. Once we are done, we can create the new VM right now. Let's go to a VM instances page. I like to type VM and select this. Here we will create the virtual machine, create instance. Name if one. Select the place that is nearest to you. This means you will be creating the virtual machine inside Singapore. So if you're in the US, select the US data center that is nearest to you. This will ensure the fastest access to the virtual machine. Select N1, select custom. We are going to need just four CPUs and eight gig. We can change the vCPUs and memory later on. But to do configuration, we just need this amount of CPU and memory. Next, we go to the boot disk. Okay, I went too fast. Go to the boot disk. Here we will select the nested image that we have created just now. Go to custom images. Select a project I created in the Eve project. This is the image that we are using. Select SSD, make it 100 gig. The CPU and memory are changeable, but the boot disk is harder to change. So I would recommend 100 gig so that we have enough for all the images. Select, allow HTTP and HTTP, HTTP and HTTPS traffic to the virtual machine. 
go to networking, let's assign a static external IP to this virtual machine. Click on this default. Go to the external IP from ephemeral. You will choose the Eve management. So if you haven't, you should um, create an IP address. Let's just do it one more time. So once we have done that, it will assign to us a static IP address. We are good. Let's go to create. Once we see the status is green, let's click on the SSH to access our newly created virtual machine. Very quickly, check our network interface. It's ENS4. We need to change it to ETH0. Let's edit this. Let's copy this in. Control O to save, Control X to exit. sudo dash I. We shall install Eve now. This is in Eve documentation, page 49. Page 49 of the community documentation, which is here. H49, right here. Copy this, paste it inside. And it should run for around three to five minutes. Okay, three to five minutes, around that time and it has completed. Let's update and upgrade. So once we are done, we can do a reboot. So this is the point where I always fail when I'm using Ubuntu 18. So let's do a reboot and see. Once we do a reboot, we will lose the connection. Oh, there we have it. It is important at this point now, we do not type any root password. Let's do this first. Do a control C and do a sudo dash I, enter. Okay, now we can type in the root password. If we did that just now, before we did the control C and the sudo dash I, we will be greeted with a password mismatch error for some reason. Type in the root password, repeat it. Everything set to defaults. Reboot again. So let's wait for a while for it to reboot. And here we are. The server has rebooted. Let's try to access the web GUI. Copy this IP address in your web browser. And here we are greeted with a web GUI. Admin, username, password is Steve, sign in. Okay, make sure to change the username and password. Change the password for security purpose. Yeah, you can put your real email address if you want. Edit. Okay, we are done. We are completed the installation of Eve on Google Cloud Platform. I hope this successful installation lasts for as long as it can.
If there are any changes, feel free to put in the details in the comment section. If I do have time, I will try to make a video, a new video to show you how we can install Eve successfully based on the new changes. Thank you for watching and I hope it helped.